Hey guys, in this video we're going to do one more Cheerio example scraping the website Imgur. Here you will see an example of how we can use callbacks or promises and you'll see how we can separate and encapsulate our code into its own mini service. So over here I've navigated into my command prompt and I'm in a folder called Imgur. So right now I want to add two new files. So the first one is going to be app .js, so I'll say touch and then app.js and the second one is going to be scraper.js. So now I should have two new files in that folder and I'm also going to say npm init so that I can get an empty package.json and for this I'm just going to hit enter a few times. And from here I want to install a couple packages so I'm going to say npm install dash dash save and we're only going to be using request in Cheerio for this example. And now I've opened up my sublime text text editor and here we have our imgur folder with our app.js and our scraper.js as well as our node modules. So this is the web page that I'm going to be scraping and you can select any image here on Imgur, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to grab the image itself, the title, and the description. Okay, so let's open up the scraper.js file. So what we'll do is, in this file, we'll be building up the scraping logic. And then inside of our app.js file, we'll import scraper in order to pass along the URL. As well as log out the actual scraped contents. So I'll start off here by defining a constant for re request, which is going to require in our request module. And then I'll do the same for Cheerio. So this first example is going to be done using callbacks and then we'll refactor the code using promises. I like to declare my functions using the exports dot method. So I'm going to say exports dot and then the name of the function that I want to use. So I'm going to call this one IMG scrape is going to take in two parameters. The URL that we're going to pass into it, which is the URL of the web page, as well as a callback. Then I can say lambda and then the contents of the function. So this callback right here is just going to contain the contents of the scraped object that we're going to actually use in our application. So just like before, we're going to use request, which is going to take in the URL that we pass into it, and it's going to take the three same parameters as it did before, the error, the response, and the body. So first off, I'll pass in an error message if there's an error I'll send back the error with my callback and we'll just say error is an error now below here if there isn't an error and we're able to navigate successfully to our page let's define our Cheerio selectors so we'll say just like before let dollar sign equal Cheerio dot load passing in the body, which is the entire HTML page. I'm going to define our URL. So dollar sign URL equals the URL that we passed into it. So the first one is going to be the image. So I'll say let dollar sign IMG equal. I know that I'm going to be using Cheerio, so that's the dollar sign. And now let's take a look at what we want to pass into this. So in order to find out what this image selector is, I'll right click and hit inspect. So I want to grab this source attribute of this image. And to do that, we have to go up and we have to find a div selector. So here we have this div class post image, so I can use that. And then I will grab the image element inside of this div post image and make sure that I get this source attribute. Okay, so that's going to be dot post dash image for the div. 
And then to get the image element, I can just add a space and then say image. And then I want to get a specific attribute within that element. And that attribute that we saw was source, SRC. Next up, I want to get the title. So I'll say let dollar sign title. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just go up here. I'll right click on the title, hit, hit inspect. And this one's easy. This is just using the post title class and we can strip out the text. So here I'll say dollar sign and we're going to get the post title and we're going to strip out the text. And finally, I also want to get the description. So I'll say let dollar sign DESC equals Arturio body. And here I can scroll down a little bit. I'll right click on our description, hit inspect. And so for this one, I can use either one of these. But for the sake of this example, let's use this item prop equals description. So here I can just say item prop equals description. And we're pulling out the text inside of it. So I can say dot text. And then below here, I will create my object to send back. So we'll say let image equals a new object. And I'll assign a URL, which is going to be our URL. An image, which is going to be in this case, we need to say HTTP colon and then append our image variable. Next, we have the title. So I'll say title is dollar sign title and our description is our let description that we just defined. I'll make a comment here which says respond with the final JSON. And I'm just going to make a log statement here, which says scraped from scraper.js plus the image output. And then I can use my callback and send with it our image containing the scraped response. And one mistake here is I need to make sure that this is outside of our callback. So I need to paste that in right here. So now what happens is when I call this function, it's going to contain this callback right here. And then we can access this callback using a parameter. And I will show you how to do that right now inside of our app.js file. So inside here, we'll first declare a constant of scraper, which is going to reference our scraper.js file. So we'll require that in. I'm going to make a couple more constant variables, one for the URL, which is going to be the location of our image. So this is the web page that we were just looking at right now. Okay, now let's move forward with our callback example. So here we can use our scraper and then the method that we defined, which is image scrape pass in the URL, which is the imgur location. And when we do that, we're going to get back the data of the scraped object. And as I mentioned, it's contained in a parameter. So this can be called anything. It can be called data, callback, response. It doesn't matter. This parameter contains what we got back. And then of course we can use a function in order to do something with that data. In this instance, I'm just going to log out data from scraper received and then just log out the data. Okay, so with our scraper file set up, let's go ahead and run our new script. And to do that, all I need to do is say node and then app.js. So you can see at the top here, we get our first log message saying that it scraped the data from scraper.js and it spit out our JSON object. And then below that, we get another message from our app.js file saying data from scraper received, also spitting out our JSON data. 
Okay, so that worked out great. And I also wanted to show you how you can do the exact same thing using promises. So promises are now native to Node versions 4 and above. And it's just another alternative to using callbacks. They're probably a better alternative because you can chain promises and the logic is a little more sequential. So below this, I'm going to make a new comment here for our promise example. And for this one, I'm just going to call this image scrape 2. And we only are using one parameter here, which is going to contain the URL that we pass into this function. So we'll say return new promise, which is our standard pattern when using promises. And our promise will resolve or reject. So other than this new return, new promise, the logic is going to stay almost exactly the same. So I can come up here and I can just copy this over. So I'll copy all of this over and I'll paste it in right there. So one difference is if there's an error, we're not going to send back a callback anymore. Instead, we're just going to reject it, passing in the error. And all we need to do is change this callback to resolve. So let's go back into our app.js file. And for the sake of this demonstration, let's do something a little bit different. Let's actually write out the contents of our scraped object into a file. And we can do this real easily using the FS module, which is native to node. So I need to first require in FS. And then I need to also declare a path of where I want our new file to be located that's going to contain our object. So we'll just say text.txt. So I'll comment out our first example. And this is going to be our promise example. So we can say scraper dot, and this is image scrape two. And then we'll pass in our URL. And the difference is here we'll say then. So when we get a successful response, it's going to contain the data. And then just like with our callback, we can do something with that data. So right above here, I'll make a log message. And this is just going to say data from scraper received. And then let's now use our FS module. And there's a method on FS called write file. And it takes three parameters. The first parameter is the path of where we want to write the file to. So we created this variable at the top of path. The second parameter is the data itself. So here, I'm just going to stringify this data, passing in this data right here. And the third parameter here is a function which contains the error if there is an error. So right here, I'll say if there's an error, I'm just going to log out the error. Otherwise, I'm just going to send back a log message to my console saying successfully wrote to plus my path. And then below this, since we're using promises, we also get a catch method in case the promise gets rejected. So we'll say catch on error and just log out error scraping data. So now let's run our new promise scraping example. So over here, I can just say node app.js and we get our log messages, scrape from scraper, data from scraper received and successfully wrote to our text file. And you see, here we go with a new text.txt file and we get a JSON stringified version of the data from Imgur.